Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing factory replacement speakers on this 2014 Honda Pilot. In this install, we're going to show you how to replace the factory mid range speaker in the door as well as the tweeter in the dash. Now, to get started here, um, there's really not a whole lot to do to take the door panel apart to loosen up just so you have enough play in the door panel itself to get it off. There are two screws behind the little panel in the handle area, as well as up underneath there's also a Phillips. Other than that, it's all held on with clips. Now the best thing to start out with here is to remove the cell panel. It's just really one clip pulling it on. That just pops right on out. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the one up underneath. Now I have a little pick tool that I'm gonna use just to open that up. There it is, to expose two more screws. Now, the easiest way, if you get your hand, you can feel there's a little spot, you can get your fingers underneath the door panel. Just go ahead and give it a tuck. It'll be a little tight. Just work your way up and around. There you go. Now the handle, since you remove those screws, actually should just pop free. Now here in the back area, you're going to have a couple of harness that you need to disconnect. There's going to be one kind of down in the door area. It's your, little, it's your little light here. It's kind of off camera. Now you'll have, it's kind of a funky clip. All right. It comes on free. Now the clip here inside the door, and it's like this on both sides. This will actually flush, and there's a little tab you push up like that, and it opens to that point, which unclips from the door switch panel. It's a little bit tricky, but it's that white clip. You gotta push in the tab, and then it swings on out, unlocking the clip from the panel itself. We can see our speaker here in the door. Let's go ahead and pull it on out. Go ahead and disconnect the harness in the back. Just pushing the tabs and the plug. There you are. All right, so to remove the tweeter, um, I use, uh, again, that little pick tool to get right in this little opening, just like so. Now, it's just not just the cover, but it's the, actually the entire tweeter itself. And there's gonna be a harness, just like so. And that's the whole tweeter and everything. Comes on out. All one piece. You just disconnect the harness there. So with all this out, let's head over to the bench to prep our new speakers. This video is sponsored by NVX Audio, your location for high quality car audio components. Use coupon code PBAI to get 10% off your purchase. All right, so to make this install happen, since we're doing a component scent, we decided to replace the factory component with an aftermarket NVX component kit. This is the NVX VSP65KIT. Um, this kit, or this component set of speakers includes two mid-range speakers, two tweeters, and a crossover as well. Now, um, it's not a direct plug and play. There's gonna be a little bit of installation process, but we're gonna walk you through it. To install it correctly here, we're using the speaker bracket adapters, the American International, um, HSB524 uh, speaker kits. They look like these and they come with a replacement screw as well. And so we can plug into the factory harness. We're using the Metra 72-7800 wiring harness adapters and it comes in a pair. Plugs into the factory speaker plug in the door. And our mid-range, these are nice. If you want to see a little bit more about these, we'll have a link in the description for you. We did a great um, unboxing and demo of these speakers as well. Also comes with these tweeters. Now as we prep this uh, tweeter, um, we're going to go ahead and pop this out of the housing here. Now there's little tabs. Just like so. Now, a couple of ways to mount your tweeter in here. Um, some tweeters are small enough that they actually should just pop right on in, and you can use some hot glue or CA glue just to mount them in place, just so they don't fall out of the grills. 
Other tweeters like the one we have are a lot bigger, and even if we strip away the housing, it's still not gonna fit that factory circle. Um, and so an alternative is we can actually go ahead and cut into the factory grill. Now mind you, there's no one going back, so if you do make this cut, make sure you're committed to it, or else have a spare set of grills as backup in case they don't work on out. But we're gonna go ahead and actually just mount this right in there. Customer actually wants to see the tweeter. They don't want to hide it behind the factory speaker and they don't ever plan on putting the factory tweeter back in the dash again. So we're going to go ahead and actually modify this cover to accompany our brand new tweeter. So let's go ahead and get started. There we are. Now to make sure this doesn't go anywhere, um, we're just gonna put just a little bit of hot glue here on the back to secure it um, and uh, should keep it in place, safe from all the rattles, and this will wire into our crossover. All right, so for our mid-range speaker, we're gonna go ahead and use the bracket, but you may notice that if you're using the six and a half, it doesn't quite fit. So what you're supposed to do here Go ahead and grab yourself a pair of pliers and just break out the tabs. Now before we actually mount this in here, um, if you put your speaker in and your uh, the, the basket kind of sits over the mounting screw, so we'll actually mount the bracket in the door first using the supplied screw and then we'll mount our speaker to the bracket once it's in the door. Now for our crossover here, it's not just a simple plug and play. Now if you're just replacing the mid-range speaker within the door itself with the coaxial, um, uh, all you have to do is just simply replace it and we'll kind of show you what that looks like. Where essentially this can plug into the plug and this would just, if this was a, just a coaxial with the tweeter, this would just plug into your speaker and then this end would plug into the speaker plug in the door. It would be a sw simple swap, but since we've decided to go with a component set, our component set comes with a crossover. Now I removed the actual cover over it, but you'll notice here we have an input and two outputs. We have a mid-range output that should go to our mid-range woofer, and then we have a tweeter output that will go to the tweeter in the dash. So it's a little bit more complicating because it's, again, not just a simple plug and play. So what we're going to end up doing is actually modifying this harness just a little bit, still keeping this plug, but we're going to slice here and then wire a speaker lead that just goes into the input here. And then the output will go from the crossover to our mid-range speaker. And then we'll run one more wire, and this part's going to be the difficult part, through the door boot into the dash. So uh, we'll show you how to do this once we get over to the car. So let's go ahead and find a good spot here in the door panel to get this thing mounted. Now here in the door panel, there's limited areas where you can really effectively mount this to the inside skin of the door here. Um, I mean, you can mount it or zip tie it or somewhere else. And even some components that don't have like a standalone crossover too. So it just kind of really depends on what set of speakers you decide to use. But we found out, kind of right here in this spot, clears everything in the door and there's a nice open spot within the panel. And there's two little screw holes, so we're gonna mount right to this little ridge. And that should allow us to run our wiring along this factory loom here to connect into the speaker. And then through the door boot up to the tweeter itself. Okay, so we got that nicely and firmly mounted here. And again, if you go ahead and grab your door panel just to double check, you put this up and over just to ensure that it's going to clear everything. And we have placed this in an area where there's plenty of space. There shouldn't be any clearance issues. Now I have a piece of wire here and uh, actually have a few more similar links ready to go. Now, with this, because this will plug right into that original factory speaker plug, like I said before, we're gonna go ahead and modify this a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just cut off, but we're gonna save these leads and still use them. Now what we're gonna do is instead of going straight to the speaker, we're gonna go into our extended wire and this will go to the input 
of our crossover in the door. Okay, so we went ahead and soldered our connections. Let's go ahead and pull the heat shrink up. So this end plugs into our speaker plug. This end goes to the input of our crossover. Now for these ends that we cut off, go ahead and strip these wires back. All right, now we got our speaker ends good. So this end will plug into the back of our speaker, and then the other end of this wire will be the output from the mid-range on the crossover. Let's go ahead and get, get these two wires installed. All right, so at this point, got our crossover mounted, we've got all our terminals hooked up, we ran everything along the factory loom. Out here, we have the plug that plugs into our you know, speaker plug adapter here. And then this end plugs into our mid-range. And then we ran our Twitter wire. We just pulled the boot out. And then we used a zip tie to fish it through this rubber boot. And we just hooked our wire to the end of it. And what we're gonna do is pull that up on through the boot here um, so we can feed our wire through that rubber grommet. Just like so. Pulled it on through, there we are. Then we'll fish that into the hole there and then put the, the, the grommet back in so it's nice and sealed. And then we'll run this wire up to the tweeter. Okay, so we put the boot all back together and we fish the wire up into the dash. I just used a hanger. I popped down the lower dash cover just so there's enough access and it goes straight up here. Now we'll wire this directly into the positive and negative of our tweeter and put our tweeter back in the dash. Since this is all good to go, we're going to go ahead and now mount our bracket and our mid-range speaker. All right, so we got our tweeter all mounted up. Now we use crimp caps here. You can bring in a soldering iron, but be super careful because you don't want to burn anything in here. This is wire on wire with the crimp over it, though, so that'll be totally fine for this application. We're going to go ahead and just tuck this back on in there. Tweeter's all installed. Get our harness plugged in. Just like that. I'll just tuck down inside the door. Okay, got our terminal hooked up. With our mid-range mounted and our crossover and the Twitter and the dash, we're ready to put on the door panel. Okay, there we are, all reassembled. We did a test, everything's working great. Tweeters in, mid-range is in. That's about it for this install. If you have any questions about what we did here, go ahead and post a comment below. Hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.